to sum up this long lecture, we learned about syntax and semantics. Syntax describes what is written, how it looks like, while semantics describes the meaning of the written text. With EBNF, we, we could formalize the specification of a language as it is a meta syntax. And the general workflow that we used to understand little programs was that we tried to write small programs as ASCII files, we compiled and run them using all these different constructs that we learned. And I really want to encourage you again to play with those little examples that are in the repository, write your own examples until you have fully understood and comprehended all these constructs that we discussed over the course of the last few lectures. Right, we any basic C program uses the principles of sequence selection and iteration, and there are different types for selection and iteration, different constructs, different keywords that we can use in the C programming language that are there for syntactic sugar to ease you the task and to be easier readable, while others are harder to read, like nesting the hook colon, for instance. There are various types of expressions that we learned. C is a, a strongly typed programming language. So that means you have to define the data type that an object will have. It's certainly mandatory that you understand the syntax and semantics of the language, but those are just the first steps before you can be able to construct your own programs. Right? Understanding the grammar and the syntax in the English language does not necessarily mean you will be able to fluently speak the language and create complicated texts. Again, that really requires practice, which you have to, to get. Basically, now you ba know all the ingredients to implement algorithms. You only need practice. So good luck and speak to you next week. <laughs>